My name is Aurelius Augustinus, although I am better known as Augustine. I was born in AD 354 in the small town of Thagaste, North Africa. Forty years prior to my birth, the Empire Constantine legalized Christianity. In those days, rhetoric was a respected skill and was required if you wanted a good career. The gaze was surrounded by lush green fields and many wheat farms. My mother, Monica, was a devout Christian, but my father was a pagan who pushed me to pursue the earthly wealth and fame that came from an esteemed career. I studied Latin at the gaze for 16 years, but my ambition was to move to the nearby city of Carthage to become a prominent professor and public speaker. Since my family could not send me to college in Carthage immediately, I had to spend about a year at home, during which I surrounded myself with corrupt influences. When I was finally able to move to Carthage, I excelled there, although I joined an illegal cult called the Manichees. After spending almost a decade under their absurd teaching, I realized that that religion was false and became interested in Christianity. Listening to a sermon preached by Amos of Milan, my heart was changed and I decided to become a catechumen. Because I was torn over my ambitions and what I knew to be the truth, I was crying to myself in my garden when I heard the voice of a child saying, Take up and read, take up and read. I opened the Bible to the book of Romans, chapter 13, verses 13 and 14, and there the Lord saved me. Attending the church in the town of Hippo Regius, the Bishop Valerius took notice of me and announced a need for young, intelligent people who would stop false teachers like the Manichees. The church members hastily grabbed me and dragged me to Valerius. As my pleas against it were ignored, I was ordained a priest and Hippo became my new home. There I built a monastery and after Valerius died, I became the bishop. Amazingly, I was able to deal with distractions such as performing duties as bishop and dealing with news of barbarian tribes destroying Rome. In the midst of all this, I was somehow able to find the time to write countless books such as City of God, Works, Confessions, and more. In AD 430, I died of a fever while the Vandals siege Chile. Theologians and godly men throughout church history look to my writings for teaching and look at my life as proof of redemption.